Hello, it's Beaumont Gibbs Estate Agents. Today I'm showing you a two double bedroom Victorian terrace house for sale in Ingledew Road in Plumstead. Ingledew Road is a very nice residential street. I'll just pan around so you can get a good idea what the road looks like. So all full of sort of Victorian like styled properties. You are very close by to Plumstead Mainline Station, about not even a quarter of a mile walk. Um, if you go to the end of this road, turn left and turn right, down the end of the road of Griffin Road is the station. And if you go to the end of this road, turn right, follow the road round, and, that, and then bear left, that goes into Lakedale Road, and there's also a, a really nice selection of shops there as well. Um, moving up this direction, if you walk up about a quarter of a mile in that direction, as the crow flies, you have Plumstead Common itself. So you've got the lovely open spaces on Plumstead Common, lots of shops there and bus routes. And say, so it's a really convenient place to live. Let's go inside the house and show you around the property itself. So you have a double glazed entrance porch door to the front. And you have this lovely stripped wood and stained glass entrance door as well. turn around so you can see a really nice door that got lots of character okay so I'll just stand back a little bit so you have laminate wood flooring running through the hallway here got some lovely original ceiling moldings as well nice stripped wood balustrade and your understairs cupboards there as well. All right, let's go into the front reception room. So, really nice room this. Lots of character about the house in total actually. So you have a lovely bay window at the front. Original ceiling mouldings as well on the ceiling, just to show you. And here we have a multi multi fuel burning stove there as well. So um, it's a really nice uh, feature of the house. Keeps you lovely and cosy in winter time. And then we have a separate dining room. This has just had all the flooring repainted, so we've got really nice painted wood flooring. Nice stripped wood original cupboard there. And then you have double French doors that lead out to the garden. Now this is the only route out to the garden, so whilst I'm here, I will take you out into the garden and show you around. So you have this nice little recessed area here. And a very pretty back garden. If you hear me sniffling, I do apologise, I've got hay fever today, it's uh, driving me mad, so apologies if you hear me sniffing throughout this video. That's the back of the house. The time is quarter to one in the afternoon and the sun is high above the house so you'll get quite a decent amount of sun throughout the day in the summer. A nice little brick shed there as well for your storage. A little water tap outside there as well. to the kitchen now. So just a small step down, one step down into the kitchen. So nice range of modern fitted wall and base units. Nice wooden work surfaces rather, freshly stained. 
an inset Belfast sync unit there with a mixer tap over. Space for a gas cooker. Space for a fridge freezer here. And then you have plumbing for a washing machine there and space for a slimline dishwasher in there. So you have a window to the side as well as a window to the rear. So that's handy for lots of natural light coming in. This cupboard houses your boiler. It's a combination boiler. The owners tell us that their property boiler, sorry, has been serviced annually. So there's an annual service record. Okay, All right, let's pop upstairs. Show you the, the landing while we're here. Again, strip with balustrade up here as well. There is a loft hatch above us, so I'll just pan up so you can see that there. So this is the main bedroom. Now I've been told by the owners that this bed is a super king size bed. So it's a huge bed and even now you've got room either side so just to show you you can get a super king size bed in this room with room either side you've got a bank of floor to ceiling fitted wardrobes here as well and you've got this uh, large corner shelving unit which is very handy as well you've got two double glazed windows at the front so again, lots of natural light coming into this room. All the deco on the house is really, really nice. Nice and fresh. Now the children's room is here. The main reason for the owner's setting is that basically they need more space. They've got two children living in this bedroom now and they're of an age where they all need their own bedroom. And so that's the reason why they're looking to move. So as you can see, there's a bunk bed in here at the moment. And uh, yeah, they're just running out of space as, as you do with children, getting more toys and stuff. I know that myself and my three children take up a lot of room. So there you can see, so it's a really nice room though, good size room. Even though there is a lot of stuff in here, there is still room to maneuver around. So. It's not always easy to show in a video when there is a lot of furniture in a bedroom, but hopefully you can get enough of a feel from this video that, um, I say it's a good sized double room. Right, and then let's move into the bathroom. It's a beautiful bathroom suite, really spacious. Look at this lovely, deep field bath there so you've got your shower over it and glass shower screen lovely tiling around the bath nice Victorian style sink and I think this is my favorite bit of the house actually this lovely toilet it's got lots and lots of character about it I love the the pipe work and the little um, the scrolls that hold up the system. Then you have a nice heated tower radiator here as well. So I'll just stand here to give you an idea what the room looks like from here. There is a cupboard there as well, a storage. Okay, right, and that brings us to the end of the tour. I hope you've enjoyed walking around this lovely Victorian house with me. If you'd like to arrange your viewing, please call Beaumont Gibbs Estate Agents on 0208 319 7600. Many thanks for watching.